What is dude behind you? Dude! Dude! What? Oh, shit! Oh, dude, don't, come on, don't come at me with that knife. They, oh, oh! God, she just stabbed my leg! Dude, what the hell? Get on up. Get on up. Uh, I would play Rainbow Six, but man, I'm a garbage at first-person shooters. That uh, I know, and we have people come in sometimes, and you know, and they'll come in the stream, and they'll see me play Halo or something, and they go, "Dude, why aren't you playing online multiplayer? Dude, don't be a pussy." It's like, uh, what do you want? I am a pussy. <laughs> I'm not very good at them. Um, especially now, my reaction time has slowed greatly to things. All right, I was like, do we even have? All right. Dolls, no. It's wrong way. Um, eat feet. I know how that uh, feels. I am on the same boat. Dead eye says. Yeah, I, I, I can't do it. You guys are far braver than me. Alright, let's get this arm. Remind me not to forget that later, too. Because remember, later we got all the way to M Mia and uh, Zoe. And I forgot to grab the arm from the, the, the chest. Um, and keep in mind, too, uh, I know we've only been to the inventory uh, box, I think, once or twice, uh, just briefly to pick up the gun and infinite ammo. Um, but uh, keep in mind that if you're playing through this game and you're trying to get the achievement to where, um, you know, the, the achievement that gets you the, uh, like, you have to go to the inventory only three times. We've already, uh, like, you can't, you still can't go to it yet. All right. Um, there's an achievement in here that you can only open the inventory box three times. And when you're playing this, you still, at this point in the game, ha cannot go to it. Um, so that's, that's pretty crazy to think about. Yeah, I got it. But it is possible, because I've done it. So if I can do that achievement, it's possible. Ryan says, on August 25th, Monster Hunter Double Cross is coming to the Switch. Please seek play it. Ah, uh, dude, I would love to, man, but I don't have a Switch, and I don't think I'll be able to get one um, between now and then, unfortunately. Um, oh, that's that's nice of you, though. I, I, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to, dude. Um, but I know Joe after work will. I, I think this later this year, like right now, we're trying to save up with donations to get a computer uh, so that way we could upgrade the stream and I could do creative streams and all that stuff. Um, but, uh, as far as, uh, systems go, there's a possibility I might get a PlayStation 4, uh, as well later this year. Um, let me go just drop some stuff off. And, oh, that's right, we're, we're supposed to come in here anyway. Crow key, yeah, we need that. We don't need that for a while. Put that in here. We don't need that for a while. All right. So not bad. A minute, an hour and ten minutes, and we're back Never. here. Uh, that's pretty it. good. We're at you sixty-eight minutes right now. Hey, buddy. Um. So yeah, the the switch may be out for me as far as streaming goes. Plus, even with that, there's no app on the switch to stream through Twitch, right? There's no Twitch app on there. Um, so without a computer, I wouldn't be able to stream anything from the Switch anyway. I also have a, a Sega Genesis, like old school Sega Genesis, um, that when I get the computer, we'll be able to stream Genesis games. Uh, so that'll be fun. It's one of those, it's almost like the, the NES that they released last year where it had like 30 games on it. It's a Sega Genesis that has 80 games on it. Um, so that'll be fun to get to that point at some point down the road. 
Monster Hunter says that they're releasing Monster Hunter Double Cross Switch with Joy-Cons that have monsters on their print. Are printed monsters are printed on on the Joy Cons? Damn, that's cool looking. So customized controllers. Ooh, that's awesome. I really want a Transformer themed controller for my X Bone. I have Halo with Spartan Lock here, um, but I really want the. Uh, I really really want a Transformer. I want like an a, a Optimus Prime, uh, one. All right, so we got to go back in the house and down to the basement. So that's fine, because uh, we're going to go back to the house anyway to use the crow key on that door to get the grenade launcher, which I want. I know that's optional, but I want it. So we're going to go get that. Where else can we use? Oh, you know where else we got to use the crow key? Upstairs. Is this a... No, that's a snake key. Damn it. Snake key is that one in Lucas's room. Crow key is uh, over here with the grenade launcher. I think each key opens two doors, right? If I'm not mistaken. The first key, though, may open uh, the, the scorpion key. I think they each open two doors. So we already used the crow key once. Oops. Um, and this is the second time. All right, we just need the gun. I don't care about anything else in here. We don't need ammo for it either. All right, now we gotta go back downstairs. Oof, this is nerve wracking. Do we have everything we need? All right, we have one health too. I mean, we're doing okay on health, I guess. Swag, yeah, that's a, uh, that would be cool. I, I can't wait to see the, I gotta look that up. If you have a link to that, uh, feel free to share it um, to the Joy-Com stuff. Oops. Not what I wanted to do. Do I have enough space? Okay. Because we're going to get the other, the snake key down here. I want to make sure I have enough space for it. Oh, you fucking old... God damn it. She gets me every time. I keep forgetting she's going to be in there. Oh my god, that fucking startled the shit out of me. Moving me down the highway. Here we go. This is where the game starts to get faster, too. Like, we just beat Marguerite. Now we're interacting with Lucas already. Um, so this is where the game starts to pick up. Or we're, like, it's easy to cut corners here and save time. the door all right I don't really want those so that's why I used them oh shit okay We got the snake key, so we're going to use this to... Let's grab. No, let's not grab anything right now. Reload on the way. So we got to go up to Lucas's room, get the blue key, and then go into Grandma's room to get the red key. And then we're done with snake keys and passcodes for a bit. All right. I still don't want to grab any herb stuff right now because I don't have room to mix anything. 
Um, we don't need the toy. I do want the axe, though. So we can get that steroid thingy outside. Shit, I always get fucked up on this one. Come on. Here we go. Um, that's cool about Monster Hunters, though. I gotta... Yeah, Nintendo is like... It's funny, because I have like a nostalgic love for Nintendo stuff, but... I really don't like a lot of their business practices, um, and so it, it, it kind of turns me away from them at times as a fan, um, which is hard because I want to I wanna be a fan of theirs, but uh, sometimes it's like they underproduce things on purpose, um, you know, which I get from a business standpoint, but at the same time, it's, it's a little shitty. Um, all right. Oh yeah, we gotta go this way. Like the a N a NES thing that they did last year, like they were just like, oh, we'll just make fewer of them. And it's like, ah, uh, yeah. All right, so what was the time, 10, 15? Yep, okay. Let's go in here, grab this. Now we can grab more shit. Uh, any other healing things in here? an herb. Okay, we'll take the herb. As long as I still got spot for the red. Because I always forget. I almost ran downstairs to the inventory and dropped something off in the inventory, but I forgot you get that backpack in there. I'm glad I remembered. Yeah, sometimes, Ryan says. Yeah, sometimes. Go, 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 go. They're still behind you. You left the door open. All right. Making good time. Hey, buddy. Scrub Amber. Those two key cards will get you into the party. Don't be late now. Let me talk to Mia. No, no, no. You gotta show up first. You haven't forgotten where the party is, have you? Oh, we got to deal with those two. There's two monsters outside, too. Oh, man. All right. So we'll... Is he down? Yeah, he's dead. Where's the other one? Sweet. Use that. Go drop some stuff off. In do we need to? Nah, cause we'll. Now nah, we're good. Cause we're gonna we're gonna discard the two keys anyway. And then when we get in here, he's going to, after we fight everything, he's going to make us dump our whole inventory anyway. So when you're playing and you're trying to get that achievement in the game to only use the inventory chest three times, this is where you do it. Um, the, your first and second time to use the inventory are both in here, uh, the inventory box. It would be good to have Transformers 2D XL custom, man. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. For sure. You a Transformer fan, Ryan? Because um, I think you might have popped in when we played some of the Transformer games. Um, Hold on. Hold on. I got some for you. But yeah. Looky, looky what I've got. <laughs> um, yeah, I love Transformers. Uh, I'm a big, big fan. You're a big fan too? Nice. 
Yeah, as you can tell by my growing collection, when we first started this stream, not this stream, but when we first started about like a two months ago, three months ago, and we brought up Transformers for the first time on this channel, this shelf was like, I think like eight Optimus Primes. And then I went through my closet and found a bunch of my other ones, like my Junkions and my, my Prowl and stuff, and my Megatrons. And then, I, then for my birthday, I got like a haul, like a, a Transformers haul. Um, and we added a bunch to that shelf. Oh, I love it. You're the biggest Transformer fan? Yes. Nice. Nice. Uh, nice. I'm a big fan, too. I don't know if I'm the biggest, but I do really love Transformers. All right. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to stop the episode here. No, I'm not. Okay. Shit. No, I'm not. I should have done that at the beginning, and I should have given you a heads up. Because we're at the 75-minute marker. Um, you know what? Let's do it. Let, fuck it. We're going to do it. Um, this is a big heads up. In the next five couple minutes, next minute or two, we're going to end this episode, and we're going to come back and uh, and do a part two. Um, I know I said we were going to do it all in one, but I think we're making good time. I don't mind, you know, eating a minute or two. I think we're I think we're in a good spot right now. Um, so if you're here live, don't go anywhere. Uh, we're gonna be right back. Uh, so I, let me g I'll give the chat thirty seconds to hear that, and then we'll um, we'll proceed. So uh, you all, when we get downstairs to where um, when we get downstairs to where we gotta uh, drop our stuff off in the, the inventory chest, um, we will stop the episode there. Uh, and then we'll pick right back up immediately after because we're at about the 80 minute marker and I originally did plan to make this a two-part episode so um so we will do that if you guys are cool with it so if you're here live don't go anywhere when I stop the episode uh, stick with us and we'll come um, back immediately uh, and you're a big Gundam fan too nice I am as well I like building Gundams. What's our inventory look like? Okay. All right, so right down the stairwell. So we will stop and we'll come right back with episode two if you're watching on YouTube later. Thanks for hanging in here with us. We're making really great time on this game and uh, we're gonna come back with more momentarily. Oh shit. That's the one I hit last time, okay. Last time we got hit by that one. And Ryan, where we last left off, Ryan in the chat said he was a big Gundam fan, uh, which I am too. I love building Gundams. Uh, and he says his first was Gundam 0083 Stardust Memory. Uh, 0080 was my first, I think. Because I watched 80 and 83 at the, like back to back. But I can't remember if I which one, because my friend let me borrow them. It would make sense I would go in order. Um. Uh, it would make sense I would go in order from 80 to 83, but honestly, I have stronger memories of Stardust Memory than I do of 0080, which I believe is called War in the Pocket, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe someone can correct me on that. Um, but that's awesome. Yeah, 0083. And Eat Feet says, uh, making great time. Sweet. Thank you, Eat Feet. We will, there's a save room up here that we'll save at, and we'll, um, We'll check our time in there. Is it dead? All right. We're going to stay down because there's a explodey explode there. I'm just really going in here for the coin. I know it's uh, eating. It's going to eat time. But uh, I want this. I want all the coins, uh, if I can get them, or not all the coins, but just enough to get the magnum. So I just try to grab coins where I know they're going to be at. Thought you were still alive. I heard you.
Moving me down the highway. I sing when I'm nervous, and uh, I'm pretty nervous right now. Um, we need to find more health too, because this isn't gonna this isn't gonna work for us. <laughs> yep, double eighty was war in the pocket. Okay, newest Gundam is Bar Barbatos. Oh yeah. Uh, so wow, one hour twenty three minutes right now. We are at. That's pretty great time. Um, yeah, that's pretty good timing. Um, I'm a very happy boy right now. Because it takes me at least like 30 minutes to get through the boat. And then about another 10 or 12 minutes to get through the, uh, the, uh, the mines. So we're doing okay. Let's go grab that herb. We need to find chemical packs is what we need. Ow. Move over, Deadeye. There's a new speedrunner in town. <laughs> I don't know if I can get Freedom Gundam. Um, Freedom Gum, uh, Gundam. It has so much... Uh, Shit, we did it. You deal with hardships in life that makes you a man, Ethan. Fat man down, fat man down. Man, he was never my favorite, anyways. Chem pack? Nope. Damn it. Alright, we got through him pretty quick. Nice. Uh, Dead Ice says, oh hell. <laughs> well, there's, there's still time for me to fuck something up, so. But an hour and 23 minutes to get to this point. Is, is pretty good for me. Um, I know a lot of other speedrunners have beaten the game by now, which is outstanding to me. I gotta watch like a, one of those one hour, uh, someone beating this in one hour. I gotta watch one of those. Uh, Cause that's Im insanely impressive. Ah, oh, yes. Bam. Finally. You're next. 1408. It's always 1408, but if you put 1408 in first, you're, uh, it's not going to give it to you. It'll have that thing drop down and try to kill you. All right, so this is right here. This is the first time you can open one of these in when you're trying to do that uh, achievement. First time, right here. How insane is that? All right, that goes away, that goes away, that goes away. And that goes away. So we need everything out of our inventory. Cool. And our old school Res Evil 2 uh, sound effects, which I love. You dick. You dick. Kiss my ass. <laughs> All you gotta do is light the candle. Put on the cake. There are children in the building. Somewhere. I think. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> and then uh, to speak to the other thing we talked about where I, if they would have replaced Ethan and made Clancy the playable, the main character in this game, what would also been cool is that every time the DLCs came out, and they added like, all right, this is Clancy playing a card game with uh, with uh, Lucas. Okay, and this is one where he's stuck in a bedroom with Marguerite and she's feeding him. All of that would have added more to the actual game because you would have been like, shit, even before the start of the game, Clancy was like fucking beaten by these people. It adds more to the, the character of Clancy. Um, no, we don't need that balloon. We just need this. And we need to spell the word loser. Two, three, four, five. <coughs> five clicks each time. All right. Wait, 
What did I grab? The wheel. Oh, yeah. But then again, it's, I mean, it's always easy. I'm not trying to shit on the this game too, too much either because it's always easy to come up with things like that in hindsight, right? That's why I like editing. Like, that's why I like uh, doing comic book editing and, and story editing um, is because when someone brings me something that's finished, finished, quote unquote, um, I will, you know, touch it up. I have the power of hindsight to fix things. Um, and uh, if things need to be fixed, that's why I like editing. It's a... Uh, I like taking something that is good and making it better, or trying to. I mean, sometimes, you know, you give notes and the writer and stuff doesn't agree with it, but, you, you know, that's part of the job. You just hope for the best. Oh. We gotta wait all 30 seconds. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Make sure I'll, um, this time I'll make sure I grab both things that we need. <laughs> So to put it into rec into perspective, um, when we played through this last time, we were here about the two hour marker. I think we were like hour 45 um, or something or hour 50 or something like that. Unless you have any more surprises up your sleeve, I suggest you. Because I remember us being like, all right, if we could beat Jack in less than two hours, maybe we could beat the rest of the game. Um, so it's still going to be tight. I know we're making good time now, but it's, it's going to be tight. Tensu, that's the name of the company, by the way. Remember we talked about them like a, a mysterious company that, uh, what's his name, works for. Um, well, that's them. So we're not, we don't need that yet. Let's take that. We don't need that. We need the crank. We don't need the herbs. We need the arm. We need uh, infinite ammo. Albert. Knife. Grenade launcher, shotgun, first aid, and we have the arm and the crank. Okay, let's move. Normally, I don't, I wouldn't inventory shuffle, but I just want to make sure the arm. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. By the way, if you're trying to collect all the bobblehead guys, there's one right there. Just to FYI. I missed that one my first my first or second time through. Let's rock and roll, baby. All right. I'm coming, Mia. Whew. Okay, here we go. This is where the monsters just start flooding. Damn, damn, Grab that and that. Let's grab our two herbs from in here. We can put that away now. Cool. Go 
Gunpowder, nah, nah, nah. We will grab that herb for later though, just in case. Throw it in here. All right, save. Cause why not? Let's see where we're at. Cause this is a point where we're at like two hours or something, a little, little past two hours, our last playthrough. Um, one hour 33, okay. So we have one hour to beat the game, less than one hour. We have 58 minutes to beat the game. Here we go. Let the, let the countdown begin. Do you have both ingredients? 58 minutes, right. holy hell. There should be enough, right? If we make him fast enough, my father and Lucas aren't far away. He's coming. Daddy's coming. Good. There's enough for two. So, in the last playthrough, we saved um, Mia. I think we're going to do that again, because then we don't have to fight Mia. Um, that will save us time. If you pick Mia, you don't have to fight her. Um, hey, one of those is mine. Shit, here we go. Oof, this fight. Shit. Light this bitch on fire over and over and over. There we go. He's got one more somewhere. There we go. I think that's it. Yep, we got him. Oof. Um... The tape, sorry, my fingers are hitting all the keys. The tape might kill you. Oh, yeah? The tape? <laughs> yeah, the tape might. You're right. The fucking, um, the one on the boat. That's also true. Because that one, they make you watch it. And that one fucking eats time. God damn, that eats time. Ethan, this way. Burn baby born, more burn baby burn, more explosions. Use the serum on him. You, you want me to cure him? <laughs> yep. So we'll choose Mia, because like I said, then that saves us one battle. Even though you can beat Mia kinda quickly, that's still like three, four minutes that I don't want to risk uh, dealing with. Oof. Are you alright? Yeah. Come on. Mia's waiting for us. Let's go, let's go. Oh my god. Dude, this looks amazing. I'm not even lying. Whoa, oh, no way! What? Dude, his head! She threw his head at me! <laughs> 